Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Kitchen. Tonight we're going to do a bit of meal prep, and we're going to be preparing some breaded chicken cutlets and a side of maple glazed carrots. So stick around and we'll have this done by dinner. I'm going to throw the ingredients up on the board for you so you can follow along at home. The carrots take about 15 minutes, so we're going to start with them. To prepare the, uh, the stove, first thing you need to do is get about half a pot of water and bring that to a boil. But you just want enough that the carrots will be able to be submerged in it completely. And then to kind of give a little bit more complex flavor to the carrots, I like to add either beef or chicken bouillon to it. If you're vegan, uh, vegetable stock would work well. But if you're vegan, you're probably not watching this. I don't do a lot of vegetables. So take a mm, teaspoon, little egg spoon full of bouillon. Yeah, maybe two. And add it in there instead of salt. While the carrots are boiling and getting ready, we're going to start working on our chicken. Now, I've got two cutlets here. Uh, one is rather thin and the other is a bit thick. I prefer it thin cooks faster, tastes a little better to me. And when I was in college, I used to take this iron mallet and just flatten the hell out of them, which would annoy my roommates to no end. So I've learned a better way of making them thin, which is just to butterfly the uh, chicken. So you wanna be very careful here and just slowly go along the breast and then flip it open. You don't wanna cut all the way through you want to leave just a little bit of skin so that it's much flatter and open. Since I last checked in, I've prepared our egg wash and breading station mostly. Uh, I, it's good to add a little bit of spice to whatever breadcrumbs you've got. I prefer Old Bay. A little bit of Old Bay goes a long way on pretty much everything. So dump some of that in there for flavor. And then if you were with us for the eggplant parmesan episode, uh, we're going to use the same uh, wet hand, dry hand technique to do our egg wash. So with one hand, take our chicken, get it nice and covered in the egg wash, and then right into the right into the breading. And if you paid attention, I've already messed up the, the wet hand, dry hand. So just get this nice and covered for one, and move on to the other. So we've got the pan heating up, and today, instead of olive oil or canola oil, I'm going to use some sesame seed oil I bought down at Saigon Market. Uh, I've used this before when cooking, and it gives uh, an interesting flavor, so why not for today? And again, just want enough to, to cover the, the pan so that you don't have a sticky surface. And you can probably see those, those carrots are at a nice boil, rolling boil in the background. So since we've got these nice and thin, the cooking shouldn't take long. You're going to want to let this go until you see a golden brown on either side. Should not take more than a few minutes at this point. See, you can see and hear that sizzle. Flip it over. Not as well done as I'd like, so I'm probably going to flip it back at the end of this to get a little bit more color to it. Let's check on this chicken. Oh, yeah. That's the color I'm looking for. So I'm gonna give this another couple minutes on the other side while we prepare the carrots. First, we're gonna dump out all of the broth. We're gonna dump out all the broth that it's been prepared in and add a bit of butter and our maple syrup. And if this is real maple syrup, none of that Miss Butterworth crap. Uh, made in Vermont. Private select, delicious. So before our chicken gets burnt, slide this off over there and get our other cutlet ready to go. Might need a little bit more uh, sesame seed oil on that, no problem. Okay. In the meantime, like I said, we're gonna be putting in a pad of butter and maple syrup into our carrots. 
The chicken here looks like it's done. Oh yeah, slide that off. And I'm just going to give our carrots a little bit of a whirl in their maple butter bath. And we should be ready to plate and give it a shot. Here is our finished product. Looks delicious. The only thing I'm going to do to top it off is a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. All right, so let's start with the carrots because they were over there just boiling over in butter and maple syrup. Mmm. Go. Yeah. A little bit al dente. Uh, it, it's sweet. It's savory. It's just what you want from, from the carrots. Now on to the main course. The chicken cooked all the way through. Hmm. That's really good. I think the uh, sesame seed oil stole the show from my old bay breading. I cut off there. But yes, I think everything turned out really well with this. It's, it's another successful quarantine kitchen episode. So from my kitchen years, thanks for joining. And thanks for all the support. I've gotten a few pictures of people recreating my dishes and some tips and tricks to help me along. So keep all that content coming, and I'll post an update in the middle of the week with some of the results I've got. Thanks again.